Utah is an incredible state. When I first visited years ago, I knew I'd be back to explore more. So far this year, I've visited five times, but this time, rather than exploring, I was taking on the role of tour guide for someone who had never been before. I am back out in Utah, which is probably my favorite state to come out and visit and camp and see the sights. This time I'm joined by Chris, who's the organizer of the Moore Expo in Missouri. And uh, we were supposed to do the Rim Rocker Trail, but I found out on the way here that Chris has been to Colorado, but has never been to Utah. So we're out here, we're on our way to Expo West and basically got three days. I've decided to show him some of my favorite sites of Utah in those three days. And if you've watched all my videos since basically Expedition Utah, it's a little bit of a mashup of those. So you probably recognize some of the sites. We're starting here in Goblin Valley, which is a beautiful place to camp in all these hoodoos. And we're gonna head that way across to Capitol Reef. So last time we came through here it was April and the road was really smooth like we were just flying through this whole thing and since then apparently I think it was in July they had a bunch of flash floods and everything's washed out so all the roads up there that were smooth before they are now all rutted and uh, got lots of washouts across them and then in some of the creek crossings obviously you got things like this where the entire bank has disappeared and you got steep drop-offs
just stopped for lunch at uh, Temple of the Sun in Cathedral Valley, which is on the north end of Capitol Reef National Park. And this whole park is definitely worth a visit, especially coming up through Cathedral Valley. And actually, if you are up this way, I recommend going a little further north to the gypsum sinkhole and basically driving down the center of Cathedral Valley. We're not going to go that way. Uh, it adds about 30 miles to the trip and we have limited fuel and we've got a schedule we need to stick to because we're going to Expo. So we're going to backtrack about five miles and head down the east side of the park. Just outside the park is an 80 year old water well drill that was used by a rancher decades ago to drill a well for his cattle. While the drill has seen better days, the well itself had a steady flow of water and has created a tiny oasis in the otherwise dry desert. We're just airing up as we come out onto the highway here in Capitol Reef National Park and we're going to cut up into the mountains where there's a National Forest campground. I did want to take South Draw Road out of the south end of the park but unfortunately you can probably tell the sun's getting low, it's late in the day. We just don't have the time and it is a, it is a semi-technical trail at the best of times and I, I imagine with all the rain they had earlier in the year it's probably pretty tough right now. So up into the mountains and that puts us uh, closer to the things I want to do tomorrow. It is cold up here, we're at 8,000 feet in the mountains, but luckily, I've got a little propane fire pit going, and I've got chili tonight. That was perfect timing. Voila, look at that.
After about 70 miles of paved roads, we've reached Kodachrome Basin State Park where we are airing down because we're heading off pavement. And we've got uh, about 100 to 150 miles depending on which way we go. We're gonna start here with Cottonwood Canyon. At the end of Cottonwood Canyon is a short stretch of pavement that takes you to House Rock Road. This leads you past the Wave, a beautiful rock formation that photographers everywhere dream of visiting. Unfortunately, a permit is required to visit the Wave, but there's a little known destination further off the beaten path that is still well worth going to, a destination that requires four wheel drive. So we're back down at White. <laughs> you had your chance. We're back down at White Pocket. This is one of my favorite places that we visited last year. And if you watched the Overland movie, then you probably saw it down here in Arizona. Uh, so we're all set up here. We're gonna cook dinner. And I think I'm gonna give Chris a chance to talk about more Expo. Tell me about more. 
All right, so More Expo is the premier consumer show for adventure travelers in the Midwest. We offer 200 vendors from all over the world that come in, uh, industry leading experts that really bring the product knowledge to us, the adventure travelers, the outdoorsmen, the explorers, if you will. We, uh, we believe strongly in education, so every hour that the More Expo is going on, you'll see that there's a different class or seminar or product demonstration occurring um, that you can go out and, and take, uh, get educated, and really be confident to go out and hit the trail. More Expo is in Springfield, Missouri, which is at the top of the Ozark mountain chain. It's so gorgeous up there, you wouldn't believe it. So come out and see us April 8th, 9th, and 10th uh, of 2022. And for more information, you can get on our website, which is www.moreexpo.com. Tickets will go on sale mid-October and come on out. We'd love to have you. It's a, it's a family event and it's a blast. All right, I'll put a link in the description. Great. Yeah, you owe me five bucks now. All right. <laughs>this is the end of the trail we just made it down to highway 89a and we're just airing up gonna transfer some gas across to chris he's gonna make it all the way down to phoenix to pick up his wife ready for expo i've got a little more time so i'll probably head up to jacob lake to get the gas and uh, see what it's like up there i know there were fires last year shortly after we came through and then i'll head down to expo head down to flagstaff for expo so tomorrow morning i'll show you around Having never visited Overland Expo West before, I was a little overwhelmed. There is so much to see, with thousands of people to talk to. It's definitely worth going at least once, even if you've been to Overland Expo East. There were a few things that caught my eye at the event, including desert deserts, seat jackers, and accessory mounts. Full video coming soon. At the end of an enjoyable weekend, I headed out alone to check out some of the trails Arizona has to offer. You'll have to subscribe to see what I get up to next time.